The U.S. will submit a draft resolution to the United Nations Security Council on Thursday in roughly seven hours or so, uh, seeking new sanctions to punish North Korea over its recent test of a nuclear device and the launch of a long range rocket. The sanctions are to be proposed are reportedly the strongest and the toughest yet. Our foreign affairs correspondent, Kwon Soa, starts us off with the details. The strongest sanctions ever imposed on North Korea are expected to be adopted at the UN Security Council very soon. The 15 members of the council will convene for a meeting Thursday afternoon at the UN headquarters in New York to review the new draft resolution. This as the United States and China have finally reached an agreement on that draft, which according to the White House Wednesday, goes beyond previous resolutions. The U.S.-China accord is deemed a breakthrough, as the two superpowers not only wield veto power on the council, but were the two countries that have been clashing most about the level of sanctions to be imposed on Pyongyang. Seoul's foreign ministry said Thursday that the resolution includes powerful and effective elements like none seen before, based on an earlier draft submitted by South Korea, but the ministry did not elaborate on the details. Various unconfirmed reports on the content of the draft resolution have been appearing, but we ask you to understand we cannot give any details on that, nor are we at this stage where we can find out, as there has not been a final agreement reached on the resolution. Anonymous sources say key North Korean agencies, such as the General Reconnaissance Bureau, which is in charge of intelligence operations, and the Ministry of Atomic Energy Industry and the National Aerospace Development Administration, which oversee the regime's nuclear and missile programs, are expected to be sanctioned. Meanwhile, South Korea and the U.S. will continue their talks on the North Korea sanctions on Friday when Assistant Secretary of State for East Asian and Pacific Affairs Daniel Russell is scheduled to meet with officials at Seoul's foreign ministry. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.